Hi, this is Dan. Welcome to part 37 of my attempt at the witness. And yes, here we are at this fucking place again. And you will see that it has been solved. Um, not by me, I must confess. I feel a little bit guilty about that, but I did not look up a hint online. I instead... I kind of... I, I actually spent some time trying to brute force this and failed. Um, and spent, like, an awful lot of time just sitting and listening to the, the various bird calls sort of cycle through because they happen at sort of different tempos and stuff like that. And still just couldn't fucking do it. So I, um... So Mrs. Dano asked how the puzzles were going, and she's she's come in occasionally, like, looked over my shoulder for a minute or two as I've been playing this game. And, you know, I sort of explained to her the difficulty I was having here, and she said, hey, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I should take a listen. And I showed her the, uh, the first puzzle, the one that's just the two notes of the bird song. And, um... You know, explain to her what the what the mechanic was. Explain to her that, uh, like, this is a long note and these are short notes. And she looked at the first one, and then she came and she looked at this one. She sat in front of my computer for about a minute and a half, listening. And she was like, "Oh, these are you know these are these are clearly two different overlapping bird calls." And it's like. Once she said that, I was like, oh yeah, I kind of hear that, but, uh, but then she just clicked over here and she went oink, 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 and boom, done. Two minutes. So I'm, I'm okay with, with asking for help on that one. You know, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I also, I also kind of hate this area a little bit, or resent it, because it was a lot harder than, than, it was a lot harder for me than I wound up expecting it to be. And I never want to ask for help if I can avoid it. Yeah, fuck you. Extraneous sound effects. Arr. Now, it's just a matter of finding where that cable goes, and hopefully that's the last of the sound puzzles. Because LB, I think, in a comment, suggested that, um... That, yeah, once you get up here, it's puzzles involving hexagons, and hopefully hexagons and not sound. That is what I'm hoping. Where did that cable go? Ah, there it is. So what the hell did it power? Do, 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 do. Can sort of see the cable. Right? Okay, it goes around this boulder, fine. And it goes up that tree. All right. Oh, and comes down and goes here. It's an awful lot of following of cables. That's that is one of the running themes of this game. But okay, what just happened there? Okay, we are blocked off in that direction. That seems mildly unfriendly. Oh, and we're down here again. Okay, yeah. Enough of that. Enough of that. Mm. 
And then that bad boy goes underground somewhere. sort of choral music stuff. What the hell? Right, so that's just closed now. Let's go back to the other side of that barrier and see if there's anything cool that happened on the other side of that barrier. Ah, hello. Yes. Okay, is there any way at all to screw this up? Yes. By not collecting both hexagons. Other than that, the path is immaterial? Okay. Right, so do you have to do them in the proper size order? Maybe. Yes, you do. Okay. Interesting, though. So I'm not sure that you can collect all of these in the proper size order. I have to confess that I have actually, I had a fair number of assumptions about these already, mainly from screwing around on the, uh, on the container ship. Oh, okay. So what if it's medium, small, Back up to medium, up to large. No. Can you go from large to small? No. You can only go from small to large. 
is what it would suggest. Gosh, then I'm not seeing how you do this. So how do you get that one? See if that works, and so I'm not sure our rules, as we understand them, are right at this point. Okay, what if you have to start? No, <laughs> because we can't get there. Ah. <clears throat> I was gonna say, what if you had to start with the small one, finish with the large one, and the medium-sized ones didn't matter? We already tried that, and that doesn't work. Okay. It seems like a fairly simple game mechanic, and you just jumped us into the advanced class. Is there any way to get to that one without hitting any of the others first? No. Okay, let's assume then from what we know so far that this has to be what we start with. Maybe the, maybe the medium ones don't matter at all? No. <laughs> That would have been nice, but no. Okay, the theory behind that attempt was maybe you only need to get the ones at the actual intersections and not the ones in between. No, we've tried that already and that, that sequence doesn't work. There was no theory behind that, except we hadn't tried it yet. Right, and we have to start here, so this has to... Essentially, we're starting to flail here, so I and I recognize that. <sighs> this little bastard, though. We 
you just ignore the large and the small ones? <laughs> no, of course not. I do with you? We either go this way and grab you or we go this way and grab you. Okay, it looks like it's ascending order. The only two paths. Okay, just just checking everything. Crossing my I's, dotting my T's, something like that. This is one where I almost... <laughs> well, this is one where what I want is the... Uh, is that little three-pointed asterisk thing from the sawmill. Because I could make this fucker go away. Yeah, because there's no way to get these three and get the other two. Afterwards. Because maybe it doesn't need to be, you know, call this one, call this two, call this three. Maybe it could be two, three, one. Except there's no way to get this after you've gotten these two because it blocks you off. Interesting. Why did that work?
because you just have to end by picking up the big guy. Alright. Well, we can test that theory now, I think. Well, no, we can't. Well, we, we can. So the big hexagon is just the period at the end of the sentence. It's the full stop. All right. In which case... This should work. This should work. Two. So you have to start with a medium if it's available. So how the hell did we do that originally, then? Was it this? No, it wasn't that. Okay, I've completely forgotten what, uh... What I originally did to solve it. that. wasn't that either. No. Okay, I'm gonna go back and um, look at how I actually solved the fucking thing, and then I will be right back. Right. I'm back. Okay. Wow, and what happened to the sound there? I think maybe when I just switch out of this window, it's, uh, bad things happen when I bring it back. Uh, 
Okay, but we've reminded ourselves of what actually worked here. The question, of course, is why? Because we had a small one, we have a medium one, we have a small one, and a large one. And I don't know why that works. Except that all of these are solutions that um, bring you into contact with every square. So I think that's too complicated a rule, though. What if we go down that way? Okay, path doesn't matter. It really is the sequence in which you, you grab them. I know it looks like I'm I'm spamming, but um, I'm not, or at least I'm not entirely. So there's only four here. Sweet. 
Why, why, why? This does go in ascending order, and that doesn't work, and I'm fairly certain we already tried that. Uh, there's something I'm not getting here. There's only one route through this that works, right? Yeah, because we've tried all of the rest. So route variations weren't possible there. But route variations are what we are doing here as we continue. Why the fuck did that work? It was the right sequence, but again, I don't know why. Okay, this is just bizarre. I do not understand why. I'm able to solve these and honestly have no fucking idea 
why what I'm doing is working. Maybe part of the problem is that I have a, uh, I think I made some conceptual assumptions about the values of bigger ones versus smaller ones, because in my mind I'm thinking of these as one, these as two, these as three. Is that one bigger than, or is that one? bigger than that one. It appears that it might actually be. So, okay. It's not bigger, it's just sort of a weird optical illusion or hallucination of mine. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit chagrined right now because I, I actually thought that uh, that the hexagon puzzles would be relatively easy and feeling a little bit stumped by this one, I must say. Have we tried that before? Yeah, probably.
Ugh. Okay, um, I don't know how long we've been going now, it's probably about 40 minutes, so it's going to be a short-ish part, given what I'm, I've been producing recently for the most part, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it and have more of a think about this, and maybe come up with some further theories or something, and hopefully solve this, uh, sometime soon. Anyway, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. Okay, I lied. Um, I spent a lot more time just sort of staring at this, trying to figure it out, and um, was unable to do so, actually, except that... I somehow... I have no idea why this works. I have no idea why any of these work. But it does work. I already did it, which is why that, that cable is powered. So, sorry about that. Or why this cable is powered. So, where are we going with the pink cable? Okay, we'll just, we'll just meander along, I suppose. Gotta be something up here, right? No, there's just the weird bamboo maze. Which actually doesn't seem to do anything. just went this way. We're just totally lost. Okay, that's fine. Is there anything going on down here besides these rocks? No. Okay, we took a wrong turn somewhere. So many vistas, though. Oh, hello. What do you have to say for yourself? If we were not able or did not desire to look in any new direction, if we did not have a doubt or recognize ignorance, we would not get any new ideas. There would be nothing worth checking because we would know what is true. Okay, fair point. So what we call scientific knowledge today is a body of statements of varying degrees of certainty. Some of them are most unsure, some of them are nearly sure, but none is absolutely certain. Scientists are used to this. Dark matter? We know Anyone? that it is consistent Anyone? to be able to live and not know. Some people say, how, how can you live without knowing? Welcome to the world. I do not know what they mean. I always live without knowing. That is easy. How you get to know is what I want to know. This freedom to doubt is an important matter in the sciences and, I believe, in other fields. It was born of a struggle. It was a struggle to be permitted to doubt, to be unsure. And I do not want us to forget the importance of the struggle and, by default, to let the thing fall away. I feel a responsibility as a scientist who knows the great value of a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance mm. and the progress made possible by such a philosophy. Progress which is the fruit of freedom of thought. I feel a responsibility to proclaim the value of this freedom and to teach that doubt is not to be feared, 
but that it is to be welcomed as the possibility of a new potential for human beings. If you know that you are not sure, you have a chance to improve the situation. I want to demand this freedom for future generations. Richard Feynman, 1963. Fucking Richard Feynman. I'm, I'm on board with almost all of that, so right on, Richard Feynman. And it is laser time. Okay. Why this one turned pink, I do not know. I feel like maybe this was a slightly unearned laser, at least unearned by me, because what got me to, uh, to the hexagon sort of non-tutorial puzzle was uh, the timely intervention on that last sound panel with Mrs. Dano. But, um, but I did solve the rest of them all on my own. So, Are you actually gonna like blaze your way through the bamboo? Are you? Okay, I have no idea where we are in relation to. Ah, that's where we are in relation to Space Mountain. Awesome. Okay, well this one especially, this one is for Mrs. Dano, not me. Oh, what do you do? You opened a handy gate that I hadn't even noticed. Well, that's nice, I guess. Alrighty then, that's, that is another one then that we can cross off the damn list. Bamboo forest, don't need to deal with you anymore. So I think, I am going to call it a part now, but I think what we're going to do once we get away from the noisy waterfall Yeah, we've got two things that we're almost at the finish line on. There is the orange trees, and there is the temple or tree thing. I think we're on the last puzzle for both of those. And then... I suppose we could try and puzzle out what the hell is going on with that... Uh, that door on the... Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been here. That door on the container ship, but... Honestly, I don't know that we're even going to do that, because I had the hexagon tutorial such as it was, but I don't understand why any of those worked. I don't understand what the operative rules were. Maybe I'll... Right, I'm going back the direction of the Boise River. Maybe I'll, I'll go back and review this while I'm compiling this episode for, for... and putting it all into one video file. And maybe I will... Maybe I'll see it, but I don't right now. But, um... Yeah, so it's the, it's the red tree laser, it's the orange trees laser, and then... Assuming we don't figure out something to do with the, uh... With the, um... The flower building in the village that has that stairway we haven't been able to make come down. That's sort of, I think, in the same category as the container ship, as things that we don't necessarily care about at this point. That's that's mopping up stuff, I think. But, um... Yeah, two more lasers to go, and, uh, then... Then we do the business on the mountaintop, I think. And, yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me for this last few minutes. And um, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.